seen. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. I am Jill Hyman. I'm a mindset mentor and vision coach. If you are new here, if you're new to me and my community, welcome in. Welcome in. I support corporate women to find clarity and connect to their vision so it becomes their new reality. And this morning, let's talk about expiration dates. So I shared a little bit about this, I think it was like last month, and I just want to dive in a bit deeper around expiration dates because some things have expiration dates on them, uh, whether it's a dream, a job, a relationship. So if you're out there watching, comment below if you can relate put me like, yes, I can. If you know that you are in a relationship that's expired, or maybe there's some friendships that are no longer serving what you're up to in the world. Um, a job. How many of you out there are in a job that is not in alignment with your highest way of being and walking through this world? Yeah, I can relate. And I want to share just a, a little story about how a dream of mine, a really big dream of mine, it hit an expiration date. And this dream was at a very young age, I wanted to live near the ocean. And, you know, if you've been following along with me, you may or may not know, I was born and raised in a very small town in the state of Kansas here in the States. And so in this, you know, Kansas is pretty much in the middle, middle landlocked. So for me to desire to live by the ocean was, you know, that was kind of a big deal to, to move away. And at 27, I made this happen. I left a very safe job. I was with Coca-Cola um, before that, you know, I had spent some time with vitamin water, smart water, they were acquired. And then I got into the world of beverage with Coca-Cola. And I was there for maybe three or four years, had gotten all the promotions that I could get. And I was just like, this is not, I, I'm not, I can't stay here. And the ocean kept calling for me. I secured a job. This was a huge move. It was a startup beverage company. And I secured this job, moved to Florida um, and, living my beach life. At 28, I'm in a relationship and this man proposes, we're engaged three months before the wedding is to happen. He calls off the wedding. Thank you, best blessing of my life, right? But in that, I then moved back to Kansas and it took several years for me to realize I'm not finished with this ocean dream. Like I really desire to live by the ocean. And so in 2017, I made this happen and I made another move to Florida. And this time around, uh, a whole new industry. I talked about it yesterday. I got a manager position, was managing gyms, women's fitness gyms, was managing trainers. And I moved back to the beach. Well, I was at the beach for three years and then it became very clear that this dream was complete. My next chapter would be moving to the mountains. And what I see, and you, this might be you, we stay stuck in a dream that's expired or we stay in a relationship and we settle, we settle for a role that is not serving us. It could have served. It served at one point, right? This is not to say that this did not serve its purpose and teaching you the lessons and giving you the medicine and the, and the lessons and all of the things during your time in the role and the relationship in whatever it might be. And when it expires, we like to hang on, right? Because it's known and it's comfortable and you've probably mastered it, especially if it's a job, right? Like you've mastered this role and to switch is really scary. And so today's invitation is to get uncomfortable. If you know that this thing, this relationship, this job is expired, move along for real, 
move along because you are just you are in a standstill with your life you are putting a like lid on the capabilities and the possibilities available for you when you stay in an expired situation so what can you release to open the gates to your life for possibilities for amazing opportunities that you would not have otherwise seen because you're staying and settling and in this expired situation. So today, reflect on where can I open up? What can I release? What can I release to open up to what is available for my highest good and my highest service during my time here? I'm sending you big, big, big love. I will see you tomorrow.